What will win in a drag race between the new Audi RS6 GT and the Audi R8 GT? Well, I'm going to find out by racing them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching CarWow. The Audi R8 GT is powered by a 5.2 litre natural aspirated V10 that puts out 620 horsepower and 565 newton metres of torque. That is sent to the rear wheels only via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. The car weighs in at 1,570 kilos and it costs from around 200,000 pounds before it's sold out. The Audi RS6 GT is powered by a 4 litre twin turbo V8 with 630 horsepower and 850 newton metres of torque. That powers all four wheels for an eight speed automatic gearbox, once again with launch control. The RS6 GT weighs in at 2,075 kilos and it costs from 177,000 pounds. However, it's also sold out. Well, Rory, I have to say that is the most extreme looking RS6 I've ever seen. And I'm not entirely sure whether those added vents and decals and stuff suit the car. What do you think? I think it looks quite nice. It's kind of like restrained because you see some of the ones that the tuners do. I think on this one looks a bit more classy, but it comes in three colours, white, black or this grey. And I quite like this grey, but I don't know about you. I prefer the look of the standard RS6. I had a beautiful green one. I prefer the look of that than that car there. But you have some modifications in terms of a new differential and some other bits and pieces, don't you? Which might help it launch better. And importantly, have you got performance tyres? I don't know what tyres I've got on, but I do have lighter coilover, adjustable suspension, a reworked sports differential, and apparently I weigh about 15 kilograms less, so I'm not sure that's going to help much, but we'll see. Maybe not, whereas I'm in a very red, sporty looking car, but it is rear wheel drive. So it's going to be close, even though I'm a lot lighter, I have similar horsepower. It's the RS6 launches, so that's going to launch really well. These can be a bit temperamental, so it's going to be very, very close. But before we go into the drag race, you know what we've got to do first, right? We should probably listen to how they sound, yeah. Would you like to do yours first? Yeah, not great. It's a soft limiter at four. I mean, that sounds awful. Have a listen to this. I've got a soft limiter, but it's all the way up at six because this thing redlines at just under nine. That sounds lovely. Uh, that's a win for the R8, isn't it, so far? Can you tell the difference between the exhaust in standard? Listen, this is standard. Now this is sport. No, I think there's just a whacking great V10 in front of the exhaust, so it doesn't really make a difference. I can notice the difference slightly in here, but I actually prefer it in standard. I'm going to leave it in sport because it might make me go a bit quicker. Shall we race then? Yep, let's do it. Right, I've got to get my launch bang on here because that thing, as soon as you lift off the brake, it goes. Whereas with this, there's a bit of a delay from lifting off the brake to it dumping in the clutch. Whew, come on. The R8's coming back! <laughs> Look at that! That surprised me. I thought you would be quicker. I mean, once you got me on the launch and was well ahead, I thought that's it, but this came past. That was a good launch, but I guess like, yeah, half a ton of weight. You could see how that really affected me in that race there. I also wonder whether the temperature is affecting you more because obviously you're a turbocharged car. I think it could be worse, can't it? The turbocharged car when it gets hotter, maybe your tires. Did, it, did you have any like tire spin or anything like that? No, it was such a clean getaway. I had ESC completely off. I mean, I'm wondering whether I put it like halfway house in sport to see if it makes a difference next time. Yeah, put it in sport mode. We're in sport. Do you know what? It's really odd. The rear-wheel drive versions of the R8 seem to launch better than the four-wheel drive. They tend to bog down. This like spins its wheel a bit, which is good, and then it just keeps on going. I was pleased with that. Three, two, one. Oh, a little bit of wheel spin by me there. Changing gear, but I'm going to come past again. It's closer this time. He's gonna do me again. <laughs> was that any different or was it just the same? I think that was slightly closer. The launch was just as clean for me, to be honest. I think it was closer at the end though, yeah. Part of me wants to give you one last try. Do you want to? 
I'd love another go. Yeah, I'm loving it. It's really enjoyable. I'm not losing. All right, let's just do one last time. Three, two, one. Oh. I'm going to regret it, aren't I? Wait. <laughs> Come on. Come on, R8. <laughs> I'm gutted by that. I wish I'd just like clean sweep to you. Now we've got to play best three out of five. If I win the next one, it's game over for you. If you win it, it's, it's all to play for. Let's do it. Three, two, one. I've got him. That was a great launch. <laughs> that hooked up. I got an amazing launch then. Let me just check something though. Stewards, did anyone jump the start? No jump. 3 1. Game over. Yeah, that way. And I think we found before with R8s, the rear wheel drive ones just don't bog as much. But that's probably the best launching R8 I've ever seen in my life. Fair play, you win. So then what exactly happened? Well, the R8 GT won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.4 seconds. The RS6 GT took 11.5 seconds. If you're changing your car, then you've got to check out CarWow. Because there's nothing quite like knowing that you're getting a great price, both when selling your old car and finding a new one. CarWow makes all the stuff that's hard work about car changing. Like the haggling, the no-shows, <laughs> and the nasty surprises, a thing of the past. Life-changing. Now, if you want to go to CarWow right now, I'll put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment. Alternatively, you can click on the pop-out banner ping in the top right-hand corner of the screen now, or scan the QR code on screen using your mobile phone to go directly there. Car change, car wow. Okay, Rory, let's do a rolling race from 80 kilometers an hour, cars in just comfort mode, automatic mode for the gearbox. We'll cruise along, I'll count us in, and we'll race to the half mile. So we'll see how quick the gearboxes kick down and how they accelerate. Three, two, one, go. Wow, the kick down on this was impressive. Oh my God, half a ton. I'm just gapping now. All day gappage. I can't believe that this car was just in normal auto mode, normal comfort mode, and when I stamped on the throttle, it just took off. What an absolutely mad change down. There was nothing comfortable about the way that that thing just absolutely effed off. Sluggish gear change here and half a ton meant that I just watched you uh, walk away, unfortunately. Okay, anyway, let's take the gearbox out of the equation. Four sports mode, second gear 40 kilometers an hour, which I think is about 30 MPH. Three, two, one, go. Oh, here we go. Wow, oh, I'm weaving. You still got me. Got all the revs. Can't believe it. That was really close on the pickup. The pickup on that was really good for a turbo, but I had like 9,000 RPM to play with. Okay, let's do third gear from 80 kmh, 50 miles an hour, where your turbo torque should help you. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I thought I had him. I was in my band. Man doesn't bloody matter. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of what we expected. Yeah, I was bang in my band and it didn't make any difference. <laughs> uh. 
the problem is I was in my power band as well. And at the top end, this thing just rips. I love this engine and I'm sad that it is no more. Indeed. And also, I guess this is like an end of level boss RS6 and end of level boss R8 race, isn't it really? Because then there's not going to be an RS6 anymore because isn't it called the 7 now? Yeah, I don't even understand it anymore. I think odd numbers are internal combustion engine cars, even numbers will be the electric cars from Audi. And the R8s, there is no R8. Damn. Anyway, brake test. This is going to be humiliating. Now, if you'd like to watch a drag race between every single performance version of Audi, click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below. If not, then stay here for the brake test and see what happens. Right, let's have a brake test from 160 kilometers an hour, also known as 100 miles an hour. Let's see which car stops in the shortest distance. Let me change up a gear. Here comes the line and the cones and all that stuff. What? I didn't feel like I hit the brake pedal hard enough. It's like, come on, you're gonna win. And then just the last bit, you just squeezed ahead of me. Yeah, for half a tonne's difference, this actually didn't do too badly at all. Shame it just sort of skipped the last sort of two meters, I guess. Not for me, not from where I was sitting. I was happy with that. Yeah, that would have been embarrassing if I'd have lost the brake test. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to compare these cars, quarter mile times to everything else we've ever drag raced, just click on the CarWow logo to go to the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.